All righty, Tuesday, May 7th. A couple of slow sessions here in both ES and NQ so far this week. Coming into today, we kind of had those expectations, much like yesterday, for that slower session. Just considering that price has shown this massive expansion move. Anytime you have these big expansion moves, it's not unusual. In fact, it really is the norm to start to see some contraction. Like we saw yesterday, and like we see today, price today only gave a 100 point range on NQ that includes the overnight action. That is just 37% of what the ATR is. So ATR is 313. That's what NQ usually does in a session on average. I believe this, I have this set to like a 21 day look back. So looking back over the past month of trading and again, only showing that 37%. So slower session, well within what we were expecting for today. Again, you get this big expansion move, price starts to test some key levels to the upside. You wanna be expecting some sort of breather, and that's key because it can kind of guide how you approach the session, right? Taking tighter trades, taking profits off more quickly, maybe trading with lighter size, maybe not trading at all. Uh, the, that expectation management is very, very key as far as what type of session are we actually expecting for today? What type of day do we expect to see? And so a little bit of forward thinking can really help your development as a trader. Something to think about in the future. If you're not currently doing that, that is part of what we at least attempt to do every morning with the pre-market prep live stream is just kind of wrap our mind around some potential scenarios that can unfold for the session and then have a game plan to work with based on our expectations. So as far as today on NQ, what we we're looking for is just to see if buyers can continue this directional move ever since Friday's breakout. So Friday, we get the breakout, we get the change in character. Monday is a follow through day. Very good follow through day there. And now coming into today's session, what we wanna see is, all right, can buyers show any type of continuation up through that prior day high? The answer to that question, quite obviously, yes, price trading up and through that 18200 area to test the upside level of interest at 18275, just a few points shy of that 18275. Session high is marked at 18266, so pretty close. What you can see right there is that is the year to date volume point of control. So this is where most of the volume has transacted for the year. That's always going to serve as a significant level, whether it be on the daily chart, maybe you're looking at something like the intraday chart. Volume point of control can always, always serve as significant reference point that you wanna be keeping an eye on. So daily time frame, we do have that big picture volume point of control as of right now, it is acting as a bit of resistance. Not that surprising to see some sellers start to show here. Think about it this way. If you have contracts during this two month period, right? And the average price is right around 275. Well, you just got back to break even. Market psychology says you're probably gonna end up selling right there, right? So that's kind of the thought process behind this. Now what we wanna see, given that the daily bar is shaping up to be a bit of a shooting star, right? Showing a bit of exhaustion there on the daily bar. I wanna see primarily how this same level, 18200, is gonna be treated, but more specifically, the low of today's bar, which would technically be the overnight low because we did not test that overnight low during the actual regular trading hour session. Yeah, that true low is down here into 18,150. So primary watch into tomorrow for NQ is this 18,200, 18,150 area. Sellers do have a decent setup here if they are strong enough to force prices a bit lower to show a bit of retracement of that Monday continuation move and maybe depending on selling strength, a retest of that change in character. If they don't show up at all, right, we'll just we'll just see continuation higher, potentially even another uh, slower session. We do have a calendar that is stacked with Fed speak tomorrow, so I do expect at some point we will start to see, you know, another type of expansion move, whether it be up or down, is yet to be seen, but we're just working with the clues that are presented here. So we know that the daily is showing a bit of a, exhaustion bar here with that upside wick versus the daily volume point of control. Now sellers, again, they have an opportunity 
to actually force some lower prices. Do they take it? We will see tomorrow. So 18200, 18150 main area to be focusing on for tomorrow's session. As always, no crystal ball or anything like that. Just working with market structure, then kind of creating some frameworks that we can work with for the actual regular trading hours session. What these patterns do, as always, is they help us manage risk and align with the prevailing trend, right? So that's NQ 18200, going to be the main watch there, very similar to our approach for today. And then ES, pretty much the same thing. Pattern is quite, quite similar. You have that change of character on Friday with the breakout. Monday shows the follow through. And then today, main question is, all right, well, can buyers show that continuation move? Four consecutive sessions higher. That is exactly what we see with that move up through the 52.10 to test just shy of our 52.30 upside level of interest. So you get the test of the 52.30, sellers start to step in there, and then we just get a, a retest of that 52.10 ATR. Also just 37% on today's session. So 24.5 points was the total range for today's session. Incredibly light right? Incredibly, incredibly light, not a very wide opportunity set on a session like this. This is definitely the type of day you want to be doing less, which is what I was trying to mention this morning in the chat, right? You start to see that slower action right off the bat volume, really tapering down. These are clues that we want to use to kind of guide us. You know, not every trading session is going to be the same. So what early clues can we pick up to, to tell us what type of day there's going to be? Low volume, choppier action, tighter action, not really giving wide ranges kind of tells us, all right, let's let's uh, let's lean off the keys here a little bit and, and make sure we're not fighting this action too much during subpar conditions, right? Because you can really get beat up on a session like today if you're not careful. So as far as what we'll be looking at for tomorrow, very similar approach to what we just talked about in NQ simply because this daily time frame setup is so similar we do have a little bit of exhaustion starting to show itself here on ES so do sellers have enough strength to actually roll this over down through today's low on ES or not and as always I like to keep it incredibly simple if I can come into the session with just one main reference point on watch kind of guide myself based on what I'm seeing there that is what I will go ahead and do. So that's what I'll be looking to do with ES for tomorrow. Hope everyone had a good session. If you guys have any questions about anything, feel free to shoot me a DM in the Traders Think Tank. Otherwise, I'll see you tomorrow morning for the Pre-Market Prep live stream.